All right, some good reporting from Jake Rowe over, I don't know the name of the site, but I do know who Jake Rowe is, but uh, that Kendall Milton will be out this spring with a hamstring injury. Uh, you know, hamstrings are, can really be bad. Like, you know, they can really be problematic if you don't uh, handle them, stretch them out the right way, all this stuff. There's a whole thing with hamstrings, okay? That can really be problematic for athletes. So for Kendall, this really, I think this spring is about just getting healthy. Uh, because look, the guy is gonna play a lot in the fall and Georgia needs his volume of carries. They're gonna need that this fall. So. I don't think this is a, a giant, giant thing. You don't want it to become a tear. You don't want it to, you know, if it's a strain, it won't matter, you know, very long after today. I mean, like what I'm saying is, it's not gonna be an extended period of time where you're dealing with an injury. What you don't want, I mean, Kendall got sidelined, if my memory serves correct, Kendall was kind of sidelined during the, the run up to um, 22. I can't remember. I cannot remember. I feel like it was a hamstring or, or something that like he needed time, and we saw what he could do as the season got closer. Uh, excuse me, as the season went on, and we got closer to Georgia playing in the national championship. So, you know, is it a big deal? It doesn't seem like a big deal to me. It's it's unfortunate because you know Kendall. We're just talking about playing running back in the SEC. That's not easy to do. I mean. It is a physical, challenging position. It's a spot that, uh, you know, Kendall is a man. Anybody that's played running back in the SEC, I don't care what school they're at, those people are really putting their bodies on the line. And in order for – this is an important season for Kendall uh, in terms of him getting ready for the NFL. My, my view is that he could be one of the best players – uh, in the league this coming year, but that's not going to be the case if he's not playing. So this is about getting him ready for the season. It won't, you know, this should not sidetrack him for an extended period of time. He'll miss the rest of spring, but you know, we're coming on, we're more than, I don't know if we're halfway through spring, but we're close to it. And, um, we're probably right at the halfway point of spring and if a fifth year, or a, excuse me, a senior player does, I mean, he, he doesn't need to, I mean, Roquan Smith didn't have spring practice his final year at Georgia, top, you know, first round pick. You don't, you don't have to do it. So it's not a giant deal. You just like to see him out there more. Uh, I'm not gonna go into big details. I'm not gonna even open the book because I'm driving, but if you've not picked up Double Dogs with Stetson Bennett's signature, a couple more went out the door today. You need to get it. I'm, I don't know when I'll run out of these, but I will run out of these for sure. Uh, it's, you know, there's there's a very limited number of these. I, I don't know how long I'll have them for. So if you're interested in a, a special edition, a limited edition of these, uh, get on it now. But I, I mean, I think for Kendall, I don't, I don't want to say things don't matter because that's really a, like a cavalier way of putting things. Everything matters. Whether you're talking about, you know, every rep matters, the way you, the way you set your mind before you go to the next drill or while you're in a drill. Uh, and the, the fact is that this just may be part of Kendall's process. You know, you're playing running back in the SEC. Guys are going to get hurt. They're going to be out. And, you know, in a 15 game season, to really expect a player with the with the style of Kendall Milton to be healthy for a 15 game period, I don't know. I mean, that's that's not going to happen every year. I think the the challenge though for critic, I mean, critics of Kendall will say, but he's you know he's not healthy enough. I, I don't I don't really know what to say. I mean, I don't I have a comment to that other than when he plays, he's very good. Um, Matt DeBerry wrote the article for us, and the image of the article is of Kendall busting through Georgia Tech, and then he did that to Texas Christian. He had a very good game against uh, Ohio State and TCU, 
um, you know, I, I can't, re I cannot recall every single, you know, moment that Kendall, Kendall scored, Kendall scored against Ohio State or TCU. I cannot remember which one. I know that he, I, I'm pretty certain he had eight touchdowns in 2022. Um, you know, this is a guy that's intelligent, and uh, I'm sure he's frustrated by this, but I, I would not get overly frustrated if I'm Kendall. You know, you know what you've got to do. You don't want to put so much wear on the tires. You know, this is a guy that's that's going to play in the NFL. You don't want to, as a running back, just be worn out when you get there. And, you know, there's no necessary reason for him to have to go through spring ball. Now, you know, that we're at the point we're at. You got Andrew Paul is out, Kendall Milton's out. Now you got to say, well, all right, do we need, you know, uh, do we need Branson Robinson? Do we need Edwards? Do we need them taking tons of snaps in the spring? I would say no. <laughs> and I think if you were trying to lay money on which is more likely to happen in the spring game, uh, throwing it around a lot or running it, the question, the answer to that is easy. It's throwing it around a lot because that's what they do, you know. So the quarterbacks are probably going to get, they probably were anyway, but the quarterbacks are probably going to get a fair amount of, uh, you know, leash here on the uh, on G-Day. I, I, I'm just, I'm going to transition to say this. I, I never say this. I am very excited about G-Day. <laughs> I'm, I'm very curious about what we're going to see from all three scholarship quarterbacks. Uh, and, you know, that you're going to see a, a more limited run game uh, because that's what it is always like anyway. Will we'll give us a, a good snapshot at what uh, these quarterbacks will look like. And to some degree, the offensive line in terms of protection. I don't know that we're getting a feel on the run game. I, I don't know if we're going to – I mean, we're talking about Georgia here. They're going to run to run it, and they're going to run it a lot over time. Um, so I don't think that has to happen in the 8% uh, of spring practice that is G-Day. So uh, – but I am very excited to see it because, you, you know, I think – you know, the transfer wide receiver from Missouri, that is a guy to keep an eye on for sure. You know, that, that you you know, I, I, I don't know that you have to see uh, Lad McConkey playing in this game necessarily. I mean, if, like, if he's dinged up, dinged up, excuse me, in any particular way, I think it makes sense to, to hold him out. But these guys, you know, it's, it's a spring football game. It's not indicative necessarily of the future any more than is indicative of the past it's, it's just it's a moment in time and it gives you a marker uh moving forward um will this will g day matter more this year because of the situation uh, at quarterback i don't really think so <clears throat> i think again you're talking about um a program that is gonna have this quarterback battle fight out over an extended period of time, not just one moment in time, which would be, you know, G-Day. Um, that You know, you, you've got scrimmages, uh, I think, this weekend. Uh, anyway, three. So, yeah, so Saturday, Saturday, G-Day. So we're, we're wrapping up. I mean, there's not a lot of spring practice to go here. I think you probably have uh, maybe eight practices left. So about halfway, and that time will be an important uh, marker for what um, for that positioning going into the fall. But I think quarterback is going to get decided. It's being decided now. Uh, you know, it's going to be decided in in August. It may be slightly decided in September. And we're just going to see, you know, there's a reason why Carson Beck went in first a season ago, and we're going to see if that changes. My suspicion is that it won't. But, again, that thing is not black and white. You, you're not dealing with, um, you know, everybody's playing the position in an equal 
way. Now, every, everybody's not playing the position the same way. So some of the stuff that Carson has in his arsenal, you know, the other two quarterbacks do a much better job of being mobile. Uh, that's what people say. But there's a lot, again, there's a lot of, you know, people inside the program have been high on Carson Beck for a very long time. That is not a new thing. That is not a spring 23 thing. You know, Carson has had to adjust the way that he's been. Uh, you know, he, I think there was a lesson to be learned if you're Carson Beck after, you know, the Stetson Bennett, after Stetson Bennett winning that job in 2021. Uh, when, when when JT Daniels got hurt. So uh, this will be <clears throat> a big moment for those three quarterbacks. And, and I am excited about G-Day, but it will we will not see Kendall Milton at G-Day, and that's fine. But, uh, you know, hamstrings, you want to make sure that you are rolling them out, getting yourself stretched out. There's no reason to push it too far. Even during a season, you don't want to overdo it, right? I mean, hamstrings are fickle little parts of your body. It's not a little part. Hamstrings are an important part of your body when you're trying to run. So <clears throat> I think that they'll, they will they know what they're doing up there in terms of injury management, load management, all that stuff. So that's what I pay attention to. But Kendall Milton out uh, for the rest of the spring. And, I, you know, it's not earth-shattering news. But it is important. Make sure you're going to dog post uh, for all of this and more. We cannot, we cannot do breaking news on here. Really, it's hard to pull that off. It's always on dog post. Make sure you're signing up for our newsletter. You'll see it there first. Thanks for watching.